Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with a finale combined with an introduction for the It's Pan and Cats and Dogs Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab and it was created by Deb and her channel name is Debbie and Danny from Danny's Makeup. I love this project. I love the two ladies who created it and I just could not wait to start it again because it just is so near and dear to my heart. I love animals and I was like, are you bringing this back? Are you bringing this back? Are you bringing this back? Please bring this back. And they did. So let me tell you how I did with the items that were still left in this project. So getting into the items that were still left, the first thing I had was for service slash emotional support animal, which is Loyal, a product that never lets you down. I pulled in my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and I was not able to finish this. I am close, but no cigar. I was unable to finish this product. So you will see that coming up in a little while. For Munchkin Cat, something with childlike packaging like Hello Kitty, etc. I had in the ColourPop um, Pretty Fresh Foundation. This was a tiny, this is a tiny little bottle and I thought it was like childlike. It was really cute. I didn't finish it. I left off a little bit below this black line and um, you'll be seeing that again as well. For Sharpay, a skincare product that combats wrinkles, I brought in the Belief Eye Cream with the goal to finish it. And I said when I pulled it in that I probably wasn't going to, and I didn't. So you'll be seeing this again as well. For Maine Coon, the item with the largest amount of product in any category, I pulled in my Andalou Rejuvenating Serum. It's a retinol serum plant-based retinol alternative. I had the goal to get to that line and I didn't. I just wasn't able to make the goal. So this will go back into my collection. I have so many serums and I'll get to it at some other time. For long-haired cat, favorite hair care product, Not Your Mother's Curl Cream. I brought in your Not Your Mother's Curl Cream, and when I went to use it, I realized that this was the bottle that I put the Kinky Curly Curling Custard in mixed with water because I wanted to water down the product. So I used it, but it wasn't my favorite hair care product. You will be seeing this again, too. For tuna, a food themed item, whether in the name or in the packaging, I pulled in this Lorac Pro 2 palette and I pulled in the shade Mocha and my goal was to hit pan and you can see sadly I didn't. I mean I got close, there's a pretty darn good dip in there but I didn't hit pan and that's okay. For scratching post, any nail product, um, polish, cuticle oil, etc., I pulled in my Nail Envy and I had a goal to use it five times. I used it two times as of last update and then I realized, like, I think this went bad. I was looking at product online, well, for, and then I was like, oh my god, that's like black. I wonder if that's mold. I, I don't know if it's mold, but it is old. And I was looking at the product online and this is more of what it looks like. And I was like, oh boy. So I decluttered this one and I bought myself a new one and I used it three more times. So I did hit the goal of five times usage. So that is rolling out. And then finally for Scooby-Doo, a mystery item, an item that came in a mystery bag or an item you've never tried before, I brought in this Sydney Grace Loose Shadow in the shade Welcome to the Family. It's beautiful. I had a goal to use it three times and I did. It's kind of like a, um, well, I can swatch it. I really wasn't going to because I didn't want to really make a mess, but I will. Um, it's a lovely like bronzy pinky shade. It's very pretty. So I was very happy to use that and I am happy to say that I hit my goal. So the only things, I, I didn't hit goal on six items. 
And I kind of knew that when I rolled them in that it was going to be difficult for me um, to use them. So now let me get into what I pulled in for this new round. The new round has, this goes from October 22nd of this year to October 22nd of next year. And it's roulette style. It was roulette style starting with six prompts. And they said this time, bring in whatever you want. So this product project has a total of 30 prompts plus a bonus one. And I decided to just bring them in all at once. So I'm going to tell you what they all are and what my goals are. And then I'm going to mark all the products when I'm done and weigh everything. I didn't want to do that right now before I filmed. I needed to get this filmed. So the first product, I think my laptop might die. I'm like, no. Um, Agility, a product that requires practice to use. This is credit to Taru from Cruelty, She's Cruelty Free Panner. And I am bringing in my unique liner in the shade Purposeful. This is all I have left. My goal is to finish it. It's a very pretty liner, but it needs to go. I really enjoy it. So I'm going to have fun using it, but it needs to get out of my collection. Um, the other, th and I'm going to mark this on paper, like how, how long it is and I'll that other good jazz. Balls and toys, something that always rolls away, lippies, mascara, etc. This is my ColourPop Another Round lip liner. Um, this one, I have a goal to finish it up as well. So I will make a mark or I'll measure it and see how long it is and keep you abreast of how long you know, how how much I use every month. For Beagle, Scent Hound, a scented item. I decided to bring in this Ellis Brooklyn perfume in the scent Sweet. I bought this in Vegas when I was with the girls and I really enjoy it. It reminds me of Jen because she's the one that had it and I smelled it and I was like, oh my God, that's so good. So I have a goal to finish this. For best of breed, tell us about your pet past or present. Doesn't have to be a dog or a cat. I love my Rosie. You've seen her in videos before. She's the little white dog in the thumbnail and she's being a little camera shy right now. She's sleeping right next to me in her bed. So I am bringing in one of my favorite primers and that is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. My goal is to finish this. I don't know how long it'll take me. I don't use it every single time I do my makeup. Like I don't use it when I go to school traditionally but I use it on like the days I film or if I'm doing stuff on the weekends and I need my makeup to last or I put on more makeup like heavier makeup I'll use this that's in for Rosie and plus she's very grippy she like clings she's a stage one clinger for Bijan Frise hypoallergenic Rosie's part Bijan um a clean makeup or skincare product I don't really ascribe to that but well people says that their products are clean so I am bringing in this blush stick for 24 uses I had this in my project five uses that just went up this week and it was one of my favorite things that I used so I'm bringing this in for 24 uses and I'm really really excited about that I will also mark I'll probably mark this one on the cap because I can saying like how much I used and how much I have left and all that for black cat no that's not right oh okay yes I'm right I was like, that is not right. I mean, I guess I would be. It has black on the packaging, but Black Cat, black packaging product or a black owned makeup brand. Credit to um, Corey Step or something you feel lucky to own, Zoe Redstone. That's what I, I feel lucky to own this. It's the Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio. And I really didn't get a lot of use on this at all since I bought it. And I really would like to use it more. This blush is a total Kim blush. It says that it's a cream cheek, but this blush is very strange. I don't think it's cream, but I mean, it says cream cheek trio, but there it is right there. And it is just gorgeous. I have this in to use a total of 24 times, and I'm going to be very happy to use that. For boop, a product you use on your nose, highlight, pore strips, contour, etc. I brought in my Westman Atelier Contour Stick in the shade Biscuit for 24 uses. First of all, I don't want this to go bad. And second of all, I love it. And there it is right there. So I will probably, oh my God, this is all that's in this package. I mean, that's a lot, but I was going to say I'll probably mark it on the cap because I can. And um, then I'll have a good visual to show you. Cat litter, something that makes 
a mess. Credit to Lynn S. Lynn 53. And that I'm bringing in my Peach Perfect Powder by Too Faced. Jen gifted this to me because she knew I loved it. And I'm so excited. This is the last one I'll ever use and I really love it. My goal is to finish it. Catnip, an item that makes you lose your mind. Oh my God, guys, I've been panning this for like three years. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo in Halo Goodbye. I'd like it goodbye. And this is where I'm at. It settled and I marked it and then I used it again. So now it's all disturbed. But you'll see like that it's, you know, pretty much down to there. I have a goal to use it to that dot. Please. Catitude, a product you wear when you're feeling sassy or you feel sassy when you wear it. And that is a bold lip color. So for me, I'm putting in this PS liner. It is a very pretty liner, but it makes me feel sassy because it's darker than what I would normally wear. So there it is. It's a pretty vampy color for me. I will be marking it on a or measuring it to see how long it is. And I will let you know, like when I make progress on it. Oh, and I want to finish it. I don't know if I said that. I probably did, but I don't remember. Chihuahua, a product the beauty community can't stop yapping about. Urban Decay All Nighter. It just, it's awesome. And my goal is to finish it. Corgi, Butt Wiggles, a gel product or something that jiggles. And that's where this product comes back in. The Kinky Curly Curling Custard. That stuff jiggles. It's a gel. It comes in a tub and it like, you know, jiggles when it's in there. I did pour it in this bottle because I wanted to, um, like I said, I wanted to um, uh, thin it out a little bit. So my goal is to finish this. Um, German Shepherd, guard dog or protector, an item that protects your makeup, SPF, uh, primer, setting spray, etc. I'm pulling in this Pipette Mineral Sunscreen. It just expired, so I'm going to use this, but I'm also going to layer it with other SPFs because it's not going to be as effective. For Harness, a product you have to st stop yourself from using because you loved it so much. That's credit to me, Teacher Loves Beauty, Kim. And that is this NYX Fat Oil. I use this in one of my lip service projects. And I used it five times and I had to make myself stop using it. That's how much I loved it. So I'm going to weigh it, but my goal is to finish it in this project. And I, I hope I can. For Husky Loud Talker, a loud product, um, bold color or loud packaging. Credit again to Taru from Cruelty Free. She's Cruelty Free Panner. And I am bringing in this Sephora retractable liner in cobalt blue. Holy moly, wait till you see this. It is gorgeous but that is a loud color. So I will probably, I'm only using it 12 times, so I'm not gonna measure it because um, it's not something I'm finishing, so you don't need to see really the progress on that. ID tags, a product that starts with the first letter of your name. Well, I'm bringing in this Alter Ego Shadow Kiss Primer because the K is Kiss Kim, and the um, shadow is S is the first letter of my last name, so I figured it, it completely fit, and I'm bringing this in for three uses. Deb B decluttered this to me. It's so beautiful, and I'm excited to try it, and I'm bringing it in like I do with all my other palettes to just get some use on it, so three uses it is. Labrador Golden Retriever Hunting Dogs, a product that you had to hunt down or was hard to find, and that is this Dior Rosy Glow Blush. First of all, this was so hard to find because every, every time I went online to get it, it was sold out like everywhere, and when I went to Vegas, I saw it, and it was the last one there, and I took it. This is such a bright pink blush. I mean, it doesn't, you can't even imagine how bright it is until you see it in color, but I am super excited to try this. My goal, oh my God is going to be to use it 12 times. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I hope I like it. I'm sure I will, but 12 times. Litter box, an item you wish your cat would bury in their litter box. That's this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. I want it out of my collection. I'm sick of it. Bury it. My goal is to finish it. Long-haired cat, favorite hair care product, or favorite hair product. In this category, it's IGK First Class Dry Shampoo, so I have a goal to finish this as well. 
I love it, it's so good. For poop bags, something you always run out of at the worst time, I'm pulling in another um, Sephora eyeliner. This is the retractable liner in the shade Slate Gray. I don't want these to go bad, that's why I'm pulling them in because I really like them and I want to get use out of them while they're still nice. But there it is, it's a really nice dark gray. I love a cobalt ball gray liner. Black is sometimes too harsh on me because I'm very fair, but I love the cobalt, um, or I love the slate gray. Poodle, a product that makes you feel high maintenance. Rosie is also part poodle. So that is this Ritual Defeat, a thorn oil. I feel like this is such a bougie item. My goal is to finish it, I love it and um, it'll do me well. So I'm gonna bring this in. I really would like to finish it before the end of the year. I just don't know if that's possible. So I will weigh and mark it and finish it up in this project. Pug, an item with cute packaging. How cute is this? This is the Holla Frog Tosh Moo Water Lily Milky Wash. It is a cleanser. I have, this is Comfort Blanket Meets Comfort cl Cleanser. Take your time, it's sinking in, you slow circular motions. Um, oh. Oh, rinse and pat dry. Use whenever your skin feels dull or you're feeling stressed. I mean, aren't we all stressed all the time? So I'm gonna put this in my shower, use it as a cleanser with the other two that I have going in the 50 Shades project. Scooby-Doo, a mystery item, an item that came in a mystery bag or an item that you never tried before. This is a little jar of the Egyptian Magic Cream. Deb swears by this stuff and she gifted me some and I still have not had a chance to try it and I really wanted to, so I'm gonna use this project to use it. I have finish, question mark, question mark, as my goal because this is a really thick cream and I just don't know how I'm gonna use it or how much I have to use, so I mean, we'll see. I don't know. I don't really know what it is. Scratching post. Ooh, why is that? What leaked? Oh, my Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil leaked. That's interesting. Um, scratching post. Oh, see, now my mouse is all yucky. Um, okay, scratching post. That is any nail product, polish, cuticle oil, etc. I'm bringing back in my Nail Envy. I wanna use this 24 times. I love this stuff. Service slash emotional support animal, Loyal, a product that never lets you down. I am keeping in this Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Ugh, you guys have heard me talk about this for like the last year with this project. I love this and I really wanna use it all up before it goes bad. I can always buy another one. Um, I hate subscribing to that idea that you should only use things that, you know, as special occasions and all that. So I just blended that out. It is so beautiful. And here's the Westman Atelier one blended out. I just have really good products in here and I'm really excited about this project. I think I chose really nice things this round. For Sharpay, a skincare product that combats wrinkles, I'm going to keep in my Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm and try to get that out. For Shih Tzu Maltese, something small that has a big impact like a pigment, a highlighter, etc. I'm bringing in this MAC um, Born to Beam Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I mean, hello. That has a big impact. It is pure gold. I mean, holy moly. Look at how pretty that is. So I'm really excited to try that. And the reason I brought this in, I'm bringing this in for three uses because that's what I do with normally all my eye products I've never tried, is because I have the Shadow Kiss um, uh, item in and then I'll go with the last um, prompt which is Vet Bills, an expensive item. Um, I'm bringing in my Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. So I thought the Born to Beam would look good with this as well. So I'm bringing this in for three uses as well. So like one of those uses, I'll pair it with the Born to Beam and see how it looks. St. Bernard, something that rescues your makeup look, setting spray, powder, topper, etc. I'm bringing in the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist from e.l.f. This I had in a previous project and I've already gotten down to there, so we'll see how far I can get with this project. This is a project or a product that I don't use um, as a setting mist. It doesn't work, it doesn't lock in my makeup. I use it as like a finishing mist, like a MAC Fix Plus or something. So I'm gonna use that. And then last but not least, treats, something you purchase to treat yourself. That's this Merit Lip Oil. I did not need this. I needed this like I needed a hole in the head, but I wanted to try it and I did and I really enjoyed it. So I am bringing 
bringing this into finish as well. And that might be a lofty goal, but I don't care. I'm going to try. And then the bonus thing is the helping hands. Donate to your local animal shelter. And if you've been around long enough on my channel, you know that I knit dog blankets and I ship them off to um, people who adopt dogs through the Small Paws organization out of Oklahoma. That's how I got Rosie Girl. That's how I got my first dog, Bella. So I really like to be a blanketeer for them and send off blankets to them. I also do make a local donation to my animal shelter of cash, and then I also bring items there once a year um, or whenever I hear that they need them. Um, and I'm thinking about working with a different group as well, so I'll definitely be able to do that bonus prompt as well. But I like it that they're not saying you have to, you know, donate money. It's if you look at the prompt, it's like you can donate like items, like even just use newspapers and stuff if you have them laying around, or or magazines. Sometimes they shred them for the cats and stuff. So, um, like I said, I'm super excited to be doing this project again. I cannot wait, and um. Yeah, thank you, Deb and Danny, oh so much for keeping this going, creating this project. I'm very excited. And um, yeah, for you guys, thank you so much for watching and taking some time out of your day to share your time with me. And I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. I will talk to you soon. Bye.